Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions about Photoshop Elements. Today's question comes from one of our Facebook fans. Uh, Michelle posted on Facebook uh, asking how to adjust part of a photo uh, and not all of the photo. Thanks for posting your picture, Michelle. I'm going to actually use it in my demo. So Michelle has this uh, photo of a horse. Uh, she actually knows how to adjust the photo to her liking, but the problem is the, the figuring of the horse actually does have this little blue tint. Uh, so she's captured in the original photo the proper tinting of the horse figuring itself, uh, but the background she wants to be a little bit lighter. Uh, and she was indicating that when she adjusts the photo to lighten the background, the problem is that the horse gets lightened as well. So how do we go about brightening the background without brightening the horse? Well, it's pretty easy, Michelle. Uh, I'm starting off here in the quick edit mode of Photoshop Elements. So all this can be done in Expert as well, but I'm going to stick to quick edit mode. Uh, so what we want to do is first do something that we call a selection. We want to select the horse so that we can then adjust the background differently from what we have selected, i.e. the horse. And the way we do selections is with this tool right here. So this over on the left hand side uh, is our toolbar. Uh, we want to pick this tool right here, which is our quick selection tool. And then down in the bottom, we want to make sure our tool options are open. They may already be open, but if for some reason they're not, click on tool options. And inside here, there's a couple different selection tools. Uh, we're going to use the quick selection tool and the selection brush tool. So let's start off with the quick selection tool and make sure add is selected. There's a couple of different uh, choices here we can make. If we click on this one, uh, we'll be creating a new selection every time we drag across our photo. If we click on this one, we'll be adding to the previous selection. And if we click on this one, we'll be subtracting from the previous selection. So I wanna pick add and then come up on your horse and just start clicking and dragging on your horse. And you can see this little, uh, line around where I dragged uh, of those, they're called marching ants, that is my selection. And the beauty of the quick selection tool is I, is I click and drag a little bit across the horse, the quick selection tool is using edge detection to figure out where the edges of the horse are. So I can click around his nose and either just click and it'll add to the selection or do a little bit of dragging, uh, click and or drag on uh, on the unicorn spike here of the horse. I guess he's not a horse, he's a unicorn. Uh, and just kind of keep going around until I've got uh, all of him selected down along his tail. Uh, sometimes it will over select. So you can see right around here around uh, his nose. We got a little too much, don't worry. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh, we want to get his legs as well. So kind of click and drag down his legs and you can see it's over selecting. As we start to get large areas of these over selecting, we want to do uh, a subtract from the selection. And I can either click on subtract down here in the tool options, or I can just hold my alt or option key down. So if I hold my alt or option key down, the tool will switch from add to subtract. So you can see, let's see, let me highlight this area for you. So you can see I can either click subtract or if I just hold my alt and option key down, uh, it will go ahead and change for me. As I'm toggling between add and subtract, I'm doing that with just uh, the alt or option key. So if I hold my alt or option key down, I'm in subtract mode and I drag between his rear legs here. You can see I'm actually removing from the selection. Oops, I accidentally zoomed. Let me zoom back in a little bit uh, so we can see what's going on. Back to my quick selection brush, hold the alt or option key down, drag between his back leg and his tail, and then release my alt or option key, click around on his leg and get the leg selected, something like that. So what we want to do is use the quick selection uh, tool, either adding or subtracting to get things pretty close. Let me get his front legs here as well, kind of drag down his front leg a little bit. Uh, it over selected, so we just want to hold our alt or option key down and click uh, on the background and something like that. So we get it pretty close using the quick selection tool. But then what we want to do is fine tune things. And that's where this other tool, 
the uh, selection brush comes into play. So go ahead and switch to selection brush. Again, we have add and subtract and holding the alt or option key down uh, switches between them, just like the quick selection tool. And then go clean up the edges a little bit. So around his mouth, we want to subtract some of our selection, get it right around uh, his mouth and nose here, something like that. The uh, unicorn spike, we want to add the rest of it in by just dragging across it. And so since we have the selection brush here, no edge detection is happening. The selection is just change, changing based on where we brush with the mouse. And so we can fine tune the selection uh, using the selection brush. His ears are looking pretty good. Maybe we want to tweak around that ear a little bit. Uh, around his back here, that's actually the snowy bush in the background or dirt. We want to fix that up a little bit. Uh, right here along his neck, we want to fix that up a little bit. So just sort of do a little bit of border patrol around the border of your selection and either add or subtract to the selection using the selection brush. And the more time you spend here, the better results you'll get uh, in just a second here. Uh, so we'll fix up around his hoof. Uh, fix up around his tail. We want to bring that selection right into his tail. Uh, that's an empty area there. All right, something like that. Double click on the hand to resize to fit. And you can see now we've got the unicorn selected and we've done some fine tuning around the edges. Now, you mentioned you actually don't want to adjust the unicorn. You want to adjust the background. So we need to switch between the unicorn being selected and instead select the background. The way we do that is under the select menu, the inverse choice, and that will flip flop what is selected versus what is not selected. Go ahead and select inverse. And you can see now we've got all of that background selected. So now over here on the right, any of these adjustments that we do, uh, something like exposure, you mentioned you wanted to lighten things a little bit. Um, as I slide the exposure slider, I'll go all the way to the extreme, you can see it's only changing the exposure of the section of my photo that's been selected, in this case, the background. So I can darken it, I can lighten it, I can go anywhere in between, get it exactly as I want. You mentioned you wanted to lighten things a little bit, maybe something like that. Um, for this photo, I'm actually going to switch down to the lighting section and use this button here, Auto Levels, uh, that usually does a nice tweak to things. So anyway, the point is you can use all of these adjustments and they will only apply to the part of your photo that you have selected. Uh, we can switch to before and after. And let me hide my tool options so we can see a little more. So you can see up top is our before and down on the bottom is our after where we've kept the coloring of the unicorn uh, exactly as it was in your original photo but we've adjusted the lighting and coloring and anything else we might want to change of just the background of your photo. So Michelle, hopefully that helps you understand how to selectively adjust part of your photo using selections in the quick edit mode of Photoshop Elements. Feel free to ask any more questions you might have by posting a message here on the Ask Bob Facebook page. Take care.